Well, June is Pride Month, and today Milwaukee Mayor Cavalier Johnson joined other city leaders in raising the Pride flag outside of the Zeidler Municipal Building. The flag combines the traditional rainbow flag with other elements to highlight underrepresented groups within Pride celebrations. Meanwhile, a national group has planted some local roots to help families and allies of LGBTQ plus people in Waukesha County. It makes it feel like if I do try to speak out for the community that I will have people here to support me and help me through anything that might happen. PFLAG not only advocates for LGBTQ plus individuals, it also works to educate others. Our Waukesha County reporter Rebecca Cloft met up with their president, a board member and member to learn how they're achieving their mission. It's painful to live knowing that you aren't in the right body and that you aren't being allowed to be who you are just because other people don't want to pay attention or learn. Lucifer Rost is a senior in high school in Waukesha. She came out as transgender. Before I came out to the school, I was already being made fun of, but it only got worse when I came out. Her family is now part of the PFLAG organization. We formed uh, specifically to support families uh, that are not getting the support in our community. Julie Royce and Reverend David Simmons are two of the founding members of PFLAG Waukesha. They started the chapter when some area school districts like Waukesha and Kettle Moraine banned pride flags and other districts required parent permission before a child could change their pronouns. Reverend Simmons is an Episcopalian priest whose daughter is part of the LGBTQ plus community. What's going on with the, the school board and the, the, the school system here? Um, uh, you know, it has given us a support group along with other LGBTQI organizations to kind of advocate for our children and to find support. Reverend Simmons says this is truly a life and death issue for LGBTQ youth. He points to suicide numbers released by the Trevor Project, which is a nonprofit focused on suicide prevention for the community. People treat this as it's a political football, but it's not. It's about the health of LGBTQIA teens. LGBTQIA teens who are known statistically to be at least four times more likely towards suicide than their other peers. That changes radically if there's just one person in their life who is accepting of them. It, it, cuts, it, it cuts the risk by half. For Lucifer, having this organization makes her feel less alone. Knowing that we have this community really helps because it shows that there is people who are supporting us. PFLAG has regular meetings every second Thursday of the month here at the Waukesha Public Library. The next one is June 13th at 6.30 p.m. We also have more information on how you can get in touch with the group at TMJ4.com. Reporting in Waukesha, Rebecca Clough, TMJ4 News. Thanks, Rebecca. You just heard the Reverend say LGBTQ plus teens are four times as likely to take their own lives. The Trevor Project is determined to change that. Confidential crisis counselors, they're available free of charge at any time. You can text the word START to 678678 or call their crisis hotline or even go to their trevorproject.org.